I'm Sayla and you're watching Sayla V with Sayla V. Today's guest is a dear friend of mine for many years. He is an actor and moonlights once in a while as a fitness instructor. You've seen him on Dexter, Desperate Housewives, Two and a Half Men, and a million other things. Please welcome actor and comedian and fitness instructor Ralph Cole Jr. Hey, hello, hello everyone. Hi, thank you for being here. Sayla, thank you for inviting me. How fun is this? This is so fun. To I don't be think... old friends I and know. now we each have these venues that we can invite each other on. So I, love I it. appreciate it. I love it. Well, good. I'm so glad you're here. And tell us a little about your background as an actor and a fitness instructor and how they've kind of, tell us everything. Okay, well, <laughs> I started out as an actor and always wanting to perform, loving it, and from TV, stage, and film. And that took me through all my childhood and going through junior high and high school into college. And then once I graduated from Pomona College in Claremont, California, I moved to New York City where I wanted to be the new rising star and just to get a taste of everything that New York had to offer. And I'm so glad I got to have 20 years in New York. Wow, 20 getting years. Getting to study my craft, working on film, <clears throat> TV, and stage there. Uh, primarily stage in New York is where I got a lot of, all of my stage background was from New York and, mm. and before I had moved to New York from LA as a youngster. And then within that, how to survive yes. as a struggling working actor in New York in those days, but being able to be available to audition. Right. And, and not be completely fatigued from doing that. Yes. So yeah. my route was fitness instruction. And so many people, and, it's, and nowadays too, but really back in the day then, being a waiter was the go-to job to as a survival job for an actor. But rather than doing that, I did fitness because back in those days I thought, God, to get paid and work out, yeah. it's a win-win situation. Definitely. So I started doing that as my survival job. I taught a lot of early morning classes so I would be free in the day to audition and not have a lot of conflicts. And that. that was my entry into fitness. I started out in corporate teaching and back in those days they had set routines for the 30-minute class because these cl these classes were designed for workers to take a 45-minute to an hour break and within on that their lunch break on their lunch break mm -hmm. and then for 30 minutes of that would be devoted to exercise so to make it very efficient for them there was a set choreography that she went through and that's how i first wow. started out yeah and it was that's so foreign and to you know, i know today. and now nowadays right <laughs> you would never do that but back in that the day it it was actually it's like when you have to wear a uniform to school you never have to worry about what right. you're wearing so i mean cuz you know what you're wearing every day of yeah what you're doing. and for this yeah. workout it's like Guys, welcome, this is what we do. It's one, two, three, and it was all choreographed. Wow. You did it in 30 minutes. I love that, I was very good with the people, I developed great rapports with people, but with my energy and what I like to do is big group fitness classes with mm. tons of energy. So when I was riding my bicycle all around Manhattan, and I would pass the then Raspberry Fitness, which turned into Pineapple Fitness, which turned into <laughs> Mega Fitness. All the flavors. Yeah, all the flavors, <laughs> right? You know, any gimmick to get you into the gym, you know, we'll call it Pinkberry. Yeah. You know. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> okay, <laughs> note yourself. Yeah. You know, <laughs> no people will come then. But when I would ride my bike home and I would look up in the window and I would just see all the energy in this room and I would be like, oh my God, that's where I want to be. So I went there. I went to the head uh, fitness instructor, uh, who was head of the fitness department, yeah. introduced myself, and from that point on, I started teaching. This is back in the day when aerobic classes had 100 people in them at 7 a.m. Wow, the Jane Fonda era. Oh my goodness, yeah. it was mm -hmm. a total institution. I taught Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, 7 a.m., and we had 80 to 100 people. That's Awesome. In that class, oh, the energy oh, of that whole my group. Yeah, you know, so and then fun. and being an early morning person, you know, I was laughing with somebody at the gym the other day. When you go to the gym early morning, we feel like we are superior to everyone else. <laughs> you, know? <Yes. laughs> you know, I got out of bed. I am here. <laughs> I am here. There's a whole personality at the gym at that time of day because it's not as packed as it is later in the day. You feel like you yeah. own the gym. Yeah. You know, so there was a we were a very special population. I love that. Yeah. So that was my foray into 
the fitness world. And then within that, I did fitness videos along oh, the way cool. for different um, prominent fitness instructors coming up along the way. That was my way to getting on television and Hi. you know meshing the fitness along with Absolutely. that also. It is performing, after all. Oh, I mean, when it, you're in front of the class. That's all you're, it, it, I mean, you're teaching and you really are instructing. You but are. it's a big performance, guys, because yeah. you want to look good. You want to be able to express yourself in a way that's accessible to all kinds of people. You've got to so, make it fun. Yeah. You've got to make it interesting. It really takes you a talent. It's, yeah. like, it's like everything in life that you look at and go, oh, I could do that. That looks easy until you try doing <laughs> it. And then it's like, oh, this is a little bit harder. Yeah. But. Because I'm a born actor and a born performer, it really lent itself to okay, that. Naturally. It's actually built-in applause. Like if yes! you, re like it is, because uh, you know traditionally after a class, there's Everyone applause. Applies. You know, you know, as as the culmination yeah. of the class. So it's always been a way of like. You know what? I get to do what is inherent in my body, which is performing, Absolutely. and I get to share, and it becomes infectious for people. When you like me, I mean, Salem and I know each other. We met in the fitness world subbing for each other. Yeah, and when we, we had auditions. Yeah, whatever. exactly. <laughs> yeah, because there are times, even though we teach early in the morning, if you book a job, mm -hmm. you might have to be on the set early, and you might exactly. need that sub. And Sayla and I were always great about doing that for each other That's early right. in the morning. It was always me. Yeah, and and we were. Yeah, we were consistently. Oh my God, going to Century uh, City and every it'd be, time. But it, what a great! I was saying to Sayla before we started, we developed such a great friendship and just really enjoyed each other's company and her students and my students enjoyed each of us yes. so we were a great sub for good, each other it was a really good match absolutely you know. no wait so tell us where are you teaching right now if you're still teaching i do meridian i'm at oh, one club yeah i'm at, i'm meridian miracle mile location oh okay, i miracle do mile. yeah All i right. do three days away. i don't do the century city but i do the All miracle right. mile it's very convenient nice. and uh, i do a uh, body sculpting class so you know right? i say i very much feel as a testament to doing fitness for so long that by the aerobic and the fitness that I've done all these years is what has really promoted my great health. Absolutely. And I feel great and I'm so happy that well, you look exactly the same as when I first met you 10 years ago, oh, so well, that is true. <laughs> wow, God, it's been 10 it's true. already. Yes. Now, wow. and tell us, what are the acting things you're doing? Because I love all that you do, drag and comedy, and I mean, oh, I can't God, keep track. You, oh, God, yeah. It, well, you know, I, as I say, I love performing, and I'm bigger than life, <laughs> and I yes. want it to exploit that. So when in 2000, I mean, I've been doing it all my life, but when I really decided in 2004, I am going to make it, I'm going to get on TV. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but as I've always said to Sayla, tenacity pays. Yes. And there's so many of us out here trying to get into show business and get on a TV show and, and to get a movie and to be star in a play. I love being the lead and the star of things. I also like being the second banana. I <laughs> like working. I like right. getting work is the, work. Right. Work is work. Right. I've had really great opportunities. That's and awesome. I started in, in a show called Scrubs. And it was, I had gotten an agent and uh, she was very nice to work with me, Liz Hanley. Oh. And uh, we're still friends. That's and awesome. um, she very much supported me. And it, it, it's hard and it, it's very, very competitive, but it's yeah. uplifting when you can remain tenacious and start booking jobs. Scrubs was my yeah. first job. I went on to a show called Rodney. And then um, I did start going to the two and a half men auditions. And I'd be at the audition, like seeing these guys. I'm now auditioning with people that I see on TV or that I have seen wow. like, oh my God, I'm never gonna, how really... am I ever gonna get the part? They're, like they're on TV already and they have all these credits. No one's gonna, but, but Chuck Lorre, saw something in me and hired me. When Liz called me that day and said, you just booked two and a half men, I'm like. I just went to producers for them, so I'm like, ah, oh, oh, I yes. didn't get it, but I know okay, that feeling. Okay, so you went through Valco Miller. <laughs> yes, And they're them. fabulous, yes. you know, and they've been very supportive to me, and that's another oh. thing Salem and I know. When you have casting directors in your corner in Los Angeles, that's right. it is very, very helpful. Yeah. You guys, we're all trying to do everything. And, you know, with technology the way it is now, with what you're doing with your television show, radio yeah. show, your television show, I have a radio show right across the street from here. So, you know, we're in the yeah. Hollywood life. 
I was so happy to watch my friend on the X's yeah. and you know just be gorgeous on Aww. national network television, so playing sweet. with all the and they were all the same as we're all the same. We all had a beginning. We That's all right. wanted to do it. That is so. We sweet. have all stayed tenacious, and now we're getting it. So you know, Sayla was reminding me how we had had a conversation, and I was saying to her, "Just stay tenacious. You're going to be a right. star girl. You will. I you will love just do that. it." And it's it's scary to hear because it's like, really, we'll win. How do you know? How can I you know. be so sure? Tenacity. I knew because of tenacity, and in life, from my experience, when you really want something and go after it, you can get it. That's and right. yeah, there are a million of us out here trying to do the same thing every day. We all think we can do the part, and we all can. But you have to remain tenacious. That's right, and so, positive. I and love your positive energy. Look, I me. love this attitude. I wish we had ah more time. I, we'll have to have you back, because oh, we're running out of time. Uh, okay, no, but I would love to come back. Thank you. Tell us quickly, what is your diet, your I want to healthify a sinful, do you ever cheat? You look amazing. I, you're, you're really nice, and I'm going to be really honest. I eat very healthy, and I eat very not healthy. <laughs> Good so, moderation. Again, yeah. I love it. Okay, this. it really, really is him. Right before I came here, I broiled chicken breast for my oh, mother and me. I thought you were going to say you carb loaded. <laughs> oh no, no, <laughs> no! I got a pizza in my bag. No, but uh, no, so I, twinkies, I, I but... made, I broiled chicken breast for my mother and myself. Nice. And we have a salad with that, fresh fruit. How fabulous is that? How great I does all of that love sound? It. I will also go to Spud Nut Donuts. <laughs> And have a little treat. And have a little treat. <laughs> and my guilty sin is chocolate cake. Okay. I love chocolate cake with chocolate icing, so that's my guilty pleasure. I am going to healthify that for you. I have the best healthy recipe for that. Chocolate oh. cake and chocolate ice cream. I kid you not. Excellent. You'll be surprised. Oh, yummy yum. And tell us where we can follow you and find you and hear about everything. Okay, well, the easiest way is I'm on Facebook, Ralph Cole Jr., C-O-L-E, and you're very welcome to follow me on Twitter, at Ralph Cole Jr., J-R. Perfect. Thank you so much thank for being so here. Much, you thank so you so much, Sayla. Thank you. You are so awesome. And thank you for watching. I'm Sayla. You're watching Sayla V with Sayla V on EmpowerMe.tv.